I've accumulated quite a few items that I wanted to share with you guys, some of which I bought myself and some of which were sent to me. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decision around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys comes in this beautiful velvet box and it is from Rose Forever. They make these beautiful rose arrangements. They are treated in a way that still looks like they are alive but you don't need to water them you don't need to do anything you just display them whenever you want to and they can display for an entire year this is the first bouquet that i got from them and i got the red one last time in the round shape they come in these beautiful velvet boxes and you can just close them up when you're not displaying them the blue one is a little bit bigger and then there's an even larger size as well they would make perfect gifts for a special occasion or for a friend and the reason why i chose the blue one this time is because i actually wanted to give this one to one of my sister in law their baby is not due until early next year so i'm going to be arranging a bunch of different little clothes and toys for babies and then this beautiful bouquet as part of her shower gift since they live pretty far away. I will be linking the ones that I have right here in my hands down below so that you know which one exactly I chose, especially the color for the blue. There's several blue colors. Up next, I wanted to give these beautiful bag chains that I received from Organize My Bag a huge shout out. I really love the fabric that they use even just for their dust bags. So it is a company from the US, by the way. They are located in Florida. You guys know how much I've been loving my Mutsi Bushet Accessoire. This is one of my favorite favorite buys of this year. The reason why I went with this medium length, I think it's 22 inch chain, and I deliberately chose this pattern because it's so very similar when you use the larger pouch unless you also include the thick strap then you can't really attach this chain to this pouch. Problem solved with this chain from Organize My Bag. Another way that you can use this particular shoulder strap is to make any nano size bag as a belt bag. Their logo, Organize My Bag, is on the back side over here. Super versatile strap, very wearable, probably weather resistant because of the leather that they use. It's a treated leather and it's the chocolate color, so it goes with any monogram or demi event piece. This one is 11 millimeter, which is is slightly thicker and is adjustable they also had a nine millimeter which was not adjustable and then also have the thicker size strap kind of like the ones that you would get on the speedy bees last but not least i decided to go with something super chunky super statement if you have a speedy you can definitely use it as a charm on the speedy but you could also use it as a little top handle if you have any sort of smaller size bag and you just wanted a short little top handle i think it's super cute and i love that it's chunkier so it makes it more statement this is the smaller pouch of the multi pochette you can also sort of tuck it under your arm or use it on the crook of your arm a couple of new pieces from Happiness Boutique. They have started to incorporate more fine jewelry, which is exactly what I picked this time. So I'm wearing this little piece here. It is adjustable right now. I have it on the longest setting, so you can also wear a little shorter. The base metal of these are sterling silver, and then it is a gold vermeil, which means that it's plated in real fine gold, but it is a little bit thicker than electro plating, I think. The second piece that I chose, also gold vermeil in a sterling silver base metal. I chose these ones as a gift for someone who is about to have uh, their first confirmation, which I think is the perfect gift for that. And these pieces are dainty enough to wear on the daily, hypoallergenic, which means that you can wear them all the time in the shower and whatnot. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my video on the review and tutorial on the Kenzie. So this is an IPL hair removal device, and it is very similar to laser hair removal, but Kind of at home it's similar but still different and i explained it in depth in that video i've been using this since early june when i received it and so it's already end of july basically it's already been eight sessions so eight weeks in a row where i've been using this once a week 
to treat the upper lip area and I definitely notice a difference. The hair around my upper lip area is definitely growing a lot slower and some of them are probably not even growing anymore which means that it's working and you're supposed to do it at least 12 sessions in order to see optimal results. Basically in four more weeks I'm expecting the hair growth on the upper lip to pretty much stop or maybe have just maybe a few stragglers. Because it has worked so well for me for my upper lip, I'm gonna start using it on my underarms, which I have, but I haven't been consistent. So I think I'm gonna be consistent for the next 12 weeks. There are more beauty items, and it is from the House of Sillage. Just to save time, I already took out the products from the, from the packaging, but just wanted to show you the original packaging. So it comes with all kinds of um, pamphlets. This is the what the lipstick case came in in a beautiful velvet box and it also came in a little dust bag inside of this case there's also a mirror i liked a lot of their colors i like the black one i like the red one let's open it up and show you the inside so i have this color on right now i usually just wear a sheer layer and then i do use my fingers to blend it but i do like this color a lot because i like that it's a cool tone sort of raspberry pink color it's very very pretty and i love the formula the formula is quite creamy i like a creamier consistency because i have dry lips next i wanted to share with you some tech items from ideal of sweden we can never have enough charging cables around right especially for our phones we're always scrambling to look for one especially for the lightning types of the ones for iphones and this is such a pretty little cable made of strong nylon right now they're having their two for one site wide promotion i also have a 10 percent extra coupon for you guys their items are quite pricey they are very nice they're very fashionable but they are pricey so two for one really really helps i often get asked about the equipment that i use for filming and i recently just changed my camera setup maybe you guys haven't noticed it because it's not a drastic change and also because i do still upload in 1080p but it is a little bit better especially for sound i'm sure you've noticed that the sound has become better i got the brand new sony zv1 vlogging camera it is a point and shoot size which is my preference because it's lightweight i can take it anywhere with me and i decided that it would be my upgrade since i was still using my g7x for the past five years and it's a six or seven year old camera already it's not as flexible in terms of uh, customizing your sound or making sure that you're filming non-stop or 4k there's no 4k capability so all that is available in this camera so I have been using this and I have been loving it there's still a few minor tweaks that I'm still trying to work out there are things that I do prefer on the Canon but anyway I also bought this Boya mic I just started using it today so today you're actually listening to the sound coming from the Boya mic Previously, I was still using the built-in mic on the camera and it's been working fine, but I just wanted to kind of up the sound level even further. Forgot to mention that I did also buy the vlogging kit that was released at the same time as the camera and so it is an accessory that you can buy in addition to the camera this is the little led light that i bought from ulazi and it's really really bright i'm actually only using it on the minimum setting right now and i uh, was gonna use it on top of my camera but it is really harsh if i'm quite close because i'm pretty much at arm's length from the camera and i feel like it's actually really harsh to use it directly on my face so i'm just gonna use it as fill light in my film setting right now and if i do need to travel with my camera set then this becomes kind of like a replacement as a flash uh, this is also fully rechargeable this is the newer model so it's fully rechargeable usb-c another kind of tech related item that i wanted to share is actually an audio book written by two youtubers i find that ever since following sean and benji they've offered a lot of different tips that I um, understand because I've already been in this process for a while. I recently mentioned in one of my live streams that I was taking some courses. So I actually did buy a whole course package from uh, Sean's company. There's a lot of things where you really can't learn on your own. I mean, you can, but you literally just 
are doing guesswork, which is exactly what I did. I throughout the last five years, I've pretty much did a lot of guesswork on my own and just a lot of trial and error. They also cover a lot of the non-technical side, which is a lot to do with just confidence and things like that. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with that information. It's probably not pertaining to most of you, but I did get asked which course I was taking. So I will link it down below, but I also recommend their book, which you can get from audiobooks for free. If you have never tried Audible, you can sign up for free. Let's talk about some fashion with Chanel coming up with their own dad slides. Well, I don't want to invest in the dad slides because they're pretty expensive, but I definitely did invest in these Proenza Schooler one and I thought they were so cute. So it's in this really, really nice silver leather. So these are the Arizona style Birkenstocks, but they are a collab with Proenza Schooler. So they don't have the buckle stuff. They have like just this really neat and statement sort of Velcro and I like it. It's really, really cool. And even though it's not Chanel, I really don't mind because these are so neutral and they look so cool. And I like Birkenstocks more for their orthotics part because it does have support for your arch. Some of my favorite additions the past little while has to be these new lambskin handbags. It's not always about investment. It's not always about longevity. It's not always about wear and tear. It's about what makes your heart really, really happy and it makes your heart really happy just to look at them, just to know that you have them. The fact that when you do wear them, it makes you feel extra, extra special. So that's for the Lady Dior, of course, same goes with the Trendy. Uh, the Trendy is a little bit heavier and it's a little bit bigger of a bag. So I don't know if this will even be my everyday bag, but it is a really stunning piece. It's just one of those... Um, bags that I have not considered in the past because of the price point, because of the material. But now that my collection is pretty much matured, I would say, that's probably the best word that I can use. It's one of those things where you feel like it's always been missing. Something super classic looking, signature leather, which, you know, lambskin is a signature leather from Chanel. They're known to be fragile but also age better than caviar in the long term. I also wanted to shout out to one of my beautiful subbies who sent me this beautiful beautiful box filled with confectionery and even a Chanel CC cream. Thank you so so much. I really do not ever expect any of these things from you guys but it just warms my heart so much that you think about me and that you have been loving my content. I have been posting a lot more ever since the lockdown. I eat chocolates every single day, believe it or not. If you're interested in any of those items, they will all be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.